So another thing I wanted to discuss in multi-sampling here or you know converting some of your favorite presets into a uh, sampler rack is volume and cropping the sound. So basically with volume it's just obvious that sometimes you'll notice that you know the wave is a little bit small meaning that it's a lower volume and you're going to want to bring it up and you can bring it up like like so in here but my recommendation to save time is to hit command A then when all these are highlighted you can go ahead and raise all these at the same time and as you can see the wave is is larger and uh, I like to do this instead of normalizing you've got a, a normalize feature here because naturally on a keyboard certain sounds are louder on the keyboard than other sounds so I think normalizing all the way across may actually sound unnatural so I like to just use the, the volume over the whole thing. And then the next thing is with cropping. Again, you have this option here on each separate sample in your multi-sample, but better to just highlight all the samples in your preset and hit right click and crop the sample. Now what this is going to do is it's going to shorten each of the samples. So it's only going to keep what you're using in each of the samples. And in a lot of cases you may cut off some some space on each of the samples if you have really long samples that you use or whatever. So this will save you hard drive space and it'll also save you from uh, you know CPU usage as well. So I highly recommend that you crop the samples but do them all at the same time. It's just going to save you a lot of time.